Hello Leo. So it's uh, the 1st of January today. It's 2021. We are officially in 2021. So today with your love reading for Leo and no other, I am going to be exploring the feelings and the intentions between you and your other, along with the unifying energies between you and your other. And to get a clear idea about what the best way to proceed forward is, we will pick some cards just to add more information. And I've got a whole bunch of different cards all around me over here. So I'm going to be picking cards randomly here and there just to get more information and to get to the heart of the matter. So tuning in. This is a reading for Leo and their other. This is a love reading for Leo and no other, Leo and no other, and the theme of the reading is the Queen of Swords, okay, so Leo, what are your feelings for the other, what are the other's feelings for you, what are the unifying feelings? What are your intentions for the other? What are their intentions for you? What are the unifying intentions? And then what are the unifying energies between the two of you? So collectively, what do you both share with regards to how you feel or connect with the relationship? Three cards. Okay, all right, so, I mean, you both really like each other, um, but you both feel, and you both, so the Eight of Pentacles is coming up for your mutual feelings, how you feel about each other, and the Eight of Pentacles is the, the apprentice card, it's the card of work, working towards something, so you both feel like you want to um, work towards creating something greater within this relationship and your feelings towards them is the ace of cups so this is a deep love you really love this person um, and they have the lovers card coming up in their feelings for you so they feel they feel a, a strong connection to you as well they feel like they want to be in a relationship for you so this is a reading for Leo and the other now, there's something going on here because the Four of Cups is coming up in your intention. So I don't feel like you're entirely seeing them clearly or there's something that you're not happy about. There's, I've got the Ten of Wands here, so it's talking about some kind of burden. All right. You and the other. And... Um, so sometimes it can have to do with, like, you, you're so focused on... Um, what you're not getting that you don't see what's been offered to you and and it's it's creating some kind of burden to the relationship and there's maturity that's needing there's maturing that's needing to happen it's for Leo and the other um, I've also got so for them they're wanting to their intention is to to ground and to stabilize the, the experience, the connection, um, their intention is for the passion in the connection, their intention is to make the relationship happen, but the unifying intentions between the two of you is some kind of stalemate, okay, so what's going on here is on the one hand we have these deep feelings for the other, but then our insecurities get in the way and um, our minds get in the way and then our actions show otherwise. So the Two of Swords, uh, it shows both of you in, in some, like something is not clear for you with your intentions. Like, are you going to take this forward or not? Are you going to make this happen or not? And in the unifying energies between both of you, I have the Three of Cups, the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. 
So you both find each other to be incredibly mysterious and um, powerful. And you both find each other to be fiery and passionate and charismatic. Um, possibly you're both a fire sign, so they may be an Aries or a Sagittarius. Okay, you're both very creative and, 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 and daring. And you both love to have fun together. You have a lot of fun together in the connection. And yet there's something that is going on here. And this is for Leo and the other. Let's get more information. Okay. So I'm going to pick three Osho cards just to get a little bit more information. We'll see if we can go deeper. And then we find out what the best way to move forward is, Leo. It's for Leo and the other. Leo and the other. Three cards. Okay. So there's comic stuff here between the two of you. We have the past lives card. Guidance. And stress. Okay. So, yeah, it feels like um, there's, there's a... Well, we've got the new vision card over here. But let me pick all the cards first, and then I'm going to dive in. So let's get one of these cards. Mm. This is for Leo and the other. Incomplete. Okay, so again, this theme of... Yeah, you know, the thing with karmic relationships is that there's such a strong pull to that person. That's why it's karmic. It pulls you back together again. There's this unconscious memory of having experienced journeys together, if you believe that. So this is for Leo and the other. One card. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I feel like you're on the right track. This is a card for Leo and the other. Leo and the other. Leo and the other. Okay. Reflect. Courage. Okay. So, um, karmic connection has pulled you both together in a very strong way. Um, I get the feeling that you both want to work towards something and yet uh, something has happened under the surface and it's a, there's some kind of burden that you're carrying. You're not happy about something, Leo, um, and, and possibly they're, they're trying to resolve things. There's something going on between the two of you and... Um, there's maturing that's needing to happen. So the Two of Swords talks about this stalemate um, or this incompletion. This Things are not clear about where you stand right now, despite the great connection that exists between the two of you. So I'm getting the card of Listen. Okay, the first card is Listen. And... Um, Listen is, well, I mean, apart from the obvious, listen. <laughs> um, it's talking about less talking and more listening is called for now. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Um, and it's uh, don't try and make anything happen. Just listen to your own thoughts. Then mentally ask, listen to the loving truth. They speak in your heart, body and mind from your angels. Listen to your own inner truth. Trust your intuition and take action accordingly. So uh, th this is the one card that's coming up. And then the other card that is coming up is, again, is reflect. So both these cards are talking about the need to go inwards and find your own guidance. The guidance card is coming here with the situation in order to make a decision with, with processing all of this. Because I have persistence over here, I feel that this is something that you need to keep working at and finding a way through. And I feel like it's possible because both of you have the Eight of Pentacles in your mutual feelings, which is about w putting the work in. Um, there's a purification that is needed between the two of you. Uh, it's, it's old stuff from the past, past lives, 
coming up to the surface and it's creating this tension and this stress between the two of you and it's triggering something in you Leo um, that you think is them but it's actually triggering something old but it's not allowing you to see uh, what's being offered to you what's really going on in the situation here so let's see what the raccoon has to say I've picked the raccoon card and let's see what the raccoon has to say the generous protector um, okay um, Okay, if Raccoon has wandered into your cards today, the little bandit may be telling you to look around and see who needs your strength at this time. Speak up in defense of another instead of remaining silent when others are gossiping. Maybe it's a time to share the bounty of your time and energy or possessions with the less fortunate. Okay, scrap those two. But remember to help those in need to develop their own protector and provider skills. In all cases, Raccoon asks that you honor yourself and others equally. Provide for your own needs or your well will be dry when you choose to give generously. Chiefs earn their eagle feathers when they promote every human's right to self-dignity. Acting in this manner brings that same honor to yourself and your family. So, you know, with I can see whatever this contention is. It's I feel like it's possibly with you and how it is that you're managing this. It's it's creating a burden in the relationship. It's creating a lot of stress in the relationship. And so the clean it up card, I feel, is talking about you taking responsibility for your stuff, going, reflecting, going inwards, taking time to listen to see what's coming up for you so that you can return back to a place of clarity. So the clean it up card is getting to the core of a situation, sweet freedom from a burden, and sweeping away what is no longer needed. So the relationship message is time to clear the air, take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours to clean up the relationship. Everyone brings baggage, sort through what you brought and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. So there's a level of accountability that's needing to happen here. And I feel that that's what the Queen of Swords is about. Um, she's talking about, um, she's talking about a, a maturing that's needing to happen. Possibly not wearing your emotions on your sleeve. And, you know, because you do have the Ace of Cups, I, I also feel like there's an emotional new beginnings that's needed for you. Um, so I've got one card over here, it's number 20, incomplete. Um, okay. If this incomplete feeling is leaving you in deep despair, okay, let's see. Drawing this card implies that you need to focus on the job at hand. You're jumping from one thing to the next without backwards glance and it's beginning to be noticed by others. If you find yourself not finishing Projects, you truly need to rethink the projects you're taking on and find something which holds your interest long enough to finish. You may be feeling incomplete. Perhaps a relationship has ended and you're missing your former spouse. Everyone we choose to include in our lives as well as a spouse will have an impact on us and the way we think. It's almost impossible to return to the way you were before the relationship began, simply because the relationship added so much more to who you already were. Remember the good times and draw on the pluses this relationship opened up for you. It was not all bad and you know it. Otherwise, why would you feel so lost? Okay. Um, try to turn sad thoughts into happy ones as quickly as they appear. Grief is a journey of the heart and no two griefs, heart and soul, and no two griefs are identical. But if you can train your thoughts to be as positive and as possible, the journey will be a little bit easier. Okay, um, there is nothing wrong with reaching out for help, whether it's to finish your project or simply talk about the loss you feel. There's nothing wrong with feeling this way, but there is something wrong if you ignore this feeling 
and do not take positive action. So there's something going on. And like I said, there is, you, I feel that you're, uh, just based on what the cards are saying, and let's pick three cards to see what the best course of action is to take with moving forward for Leo with their other. What is the best course of action for Leo to take with regards to their other? Best course of action for Leo to take with regards to their other. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles that threw itself out. And it's just talking about... See two more cards, please. Um, so with the struggle that you're going through, uh, there's a transformation that's needing to happen, and it's to do with abundance and generosity and just you know it's it's to do with all the themes that in a way make up Leo which is about, well, the Empress is coming up. So it's it's saying the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Death card. So the themes of abundance and just new abundant beginnings and feeling uh, connected to yourself and your sensuality and feeling content within yourself is undergoing a transformation. And because uh, I can see you're in a place of struggle right now. So I do feel that spending time alone um, will support um, the changes that need to happen.